Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be making a vegetable soup. It is a chilly fall day here in Virginia so I thought some soup would be yummy. This is um, 64 ounces of tomato juice that I'm putting in now. Uh, that's how I start my soup and I use two of these. Um, and this is a large pot so unless you're going to half the recipe you do want to make sure you have a a fairly large pot on hand because a lot goes in it. So once again, two 64 ounce uh, containers of tomato juice, and then you're going to save the one, uh, save one of the containers. Uh, and then after you have put the tomato juice in, I just take um, one of them and fill it up with water. And then I, so I add 64 ounces of water as well uh, to the soup. Then after you uh, get all of this in, then we're going to start adding some of our ingredients. So the first thing that we're going to add is a can of uh, cream corn. And that's just a 15 ounce can. And then we're going to add um, some whole kernel corn, which I have drained. And this is one of the larger cans of the Hanover brand. Um, you can adjust this whole recipe any way you wish. If you like more corn, if you like less corn, you know, it's however your family enjoys it. So my family likes corn, so we add a big thing of it. Uh, these are baby llama beans, and I just put in one pack of those because we do have one child that does not like llama beans as much as some of the others. Uh, and then um, I'm going to put in one stick of butter. Then you want to, um, because this is such a, um, a large pot, you're going to want to uh, season this really well with salt and black pepper and it just, you know, season it to taste however you normally like your food seasoned. Um, I do add a lot of salt and pepper to this just because this is a large pot to season. Um, next we're going to add in, um, some potatoes. So once again, it's however many you would like. I think for this one, I ended up doing about 10 medium potatoes um, and I just peel them and then slice them up into little cubes uh, to go in the soup. So, and uh, I do want to correct one thing uh, in my previous video, I had said that I have six children and we do have six. However, uh, my daughter's roommate in college considers herself and we consider her to be one of our children as well. So I, technically, I guess at the moment, we have seven children uh, that uh, enjoy coming in and eating with us. Uh, now, previously in the day, earlier in the day, I had... Um, cooked a ham that I had picked up at Walmart. It's one of the spiral hams. It's in the purple package. I think it's a brown sugar ham. Um, we love those. And typically what I'll do is I'll cook the ham and we will eat the ham, like sliced ham one day. And then the next day I will make soup. The way I did it this day, however, I cooked the ham that morning and then we, we did eat on it for lunch that day. And then we had, um, I used it in the soup as well. So, um, I just take some of the ham after it's cooked and I slice up probably about two cups of ham, um, and into little bite sized pieces. And I add that, um, to the soup. It's just, uh, my husband's grandmother, she would always put ham in her soup and I thought it just gave it just the best flavor. So that's just something I've continued to do. Um, in fact, I loved her soup and I would always ask her, I said, Granny, what do you, how do you make your soup? And she would always tell me, oh, a little of this and a little of that. And she, she really didn't have a recipe. And now I understand why it is a little of this and a little of that, just kind of whatever you have on hand or what you like in it. There's no right or wrong um, with this soup. I think the thing that I like the most about it is just that tomatoey base. Um, it's just really good. When I first started making it, I would use one 64 ounce can of tomato juice, and then I would use one 64 ounce container of water. But I like it with the two things of tomato juice. It just gives it a little more kick, I think, a little more flavor. And I just, I like that better. So 
anyway, you can add however much ham you would like. And you can also buy ham already cubed up in the, um, like the near the sausage and bacon and that kind of thing in the grocery store. I just think this ham, when you cook it and you add the, um, that to it, to the soup, it just has better flavor, I think, than the ham that you buy already diced up. But that's just a preference. Um, and then as you'll see in the other pot, I have some chicken breasts that I've been boiling. And I believe it's four or five chicken breasts. Um, they're not huge, but um, they are, they've been boiling for a while and they're very tender. As you can see, some of them will try to fall apart on me here, but uh, that's okay because I'm going to shred the chicken um, to go in the soup. So, um, you know, you could make this with beef. We just like it with ham and chicken. So that's just one of our favorites. But you're going to want to take your chicken and just, oh, just shred it up. And it's, you know, it's very simple to do. Um, and especially after it's cooked and it's this tender, very easy to shred. As you go through the chicken, though, you, you may have little pieces here and there um, that you want to just pull out, maybe a little gristle piece. You'll see I just pull a couple of them out or might have a little piece of fat on it or something like that. Um, but anyway, it um, works out nice shredding and it just gives the soup a nice consistency, I think. So we're going to get that added to our pot. And most everything we put in the soup, like the chicken is already cooked, the ham is already cooked. Um, the butter beans, the baby or baby llama beans, they do need to cook as well as the potatoes. Um, and then in a little bit, we're going to add some elbow macaroni. So that's the main thing. If you can get those baby llama beans and those potatoes done, then add in the elbow macaroni. I added in after the everything else is already done because it will actually absorb some of the liquid and I like more uh, broth in my soup so I don't really want it to absorb but so much of the liquid and so I add my macaroni towards the end so um, I also add a little bit of sugar as you see here and that's just to cut the uh, the acid of the tomato a little bit. Just give it a hint of sweetness. Um, it's not, you don't taste it and be like, oh, this is really, really sweet. It's not like that, especially with that, that big of a pot of soup. It just, it just gives it a nice little um, cut to that tomato. And so then we're going to go ahead and add our uh, elbow macaroni, uh, two uncooked cups of elbow macaroni is what I do in this size pot. And then we're just going to let it cook. Um, you can, at this point, it's boiling. You can turn it down really on low and just let it kind of simmer until that macaroni is done. You do want to make sure you um, continuously stir it so that the macaroni doesn't stick to the bottom of the bowl. But here it is. Uh, we're going to just go ahead and ladle some of that up and get it, get it in our bowl. But that's, it couldn't be easier. So I hope you all enjoy this recipe. Thanks for watching.